So do we start off or we wait for the others? I have just informed the electrical class to use this link. So they'll be coming in. So we can, uh, we can uh, I think we are a bit behind. I, I suggest that uh, we, we, we proceed. Okay. Yeah, so um, you, you remember last, uh, last uh, time we, we introduced something on uh, interpolation, uh, so we were not able to proceed uh, so much. Uh, once again, let me just uh, brush through what I talked about uh, last time, that um, interpolation is uh, that method of finding a value of the independent variable y at um, any point of x using um, what we have in this table for the x values and the y values, x naught all the way to xn. And uh, for the y values, we have y naught up to yn. And basically, if we have uh, the function y is equals to f of x, for the, uh, there are known values at the x points, the x naught up to xn, we have respectively y naught up to yn, and uh, our wish is to find a value of y at any point x. And uh, that is what all that uh, uh, interpolation is um, uh, about. So uh, for this purpose then, that um, we, we will uh, fit a polynomial, we fit a, a polynomial to this data points. And uh, what we, the polynomial that uh, we wanna fit using the data points that uh, I've, I've explained above will uh, be called an uh, interpolating polynomial. An interpolating uh, polynomial. So after getting um, the polynomial, say px, which is uh, an approximation. <clears throat> to the function that we are given f of x because after all we are using the x and y values for the function y is equal to f of x um, we can then <coughs> find uh, the value of y at um, any point x, you can find a value of y <coughs> at any point uh, x. So that is the essence of um, interpolation. So again, uh, I, I mentioned uh, something about um, the finite differences. Um, and the end uh, the finite difference, we said, uh, suppose uh, that uh, we have uh, suppose we take um, equi spaced mm -hmm. 
points. We have uh, x naught, x1, x2, all the way to xn. Equispaced that uh, the differences between consecutive points is the same, like x1 minus x naught is equal to x2 minus x1 and so on. So that's when we say that the points are equispaced. So if we have uh, this one to be equal to x n minus one plus uh, h, then we can define the following. We can uh, define uh, the following. We have uh, what we call the forward difference. that uh, if we have uh, that over yn, this will be equal to yn plus one minus uh, yn. Then uh, we also have uh, the backward difference operator. Now this is a little bit different. We have it as uh, that y n, which will be y n minus uh, y n minus one then we have the third one uh, which is uh, the central difference operator Now this one is uh, denoted by that y i, this will be equal to y i plus um, a half minus uh, y i minus uh, a half. And then uh, finally we have uh, what is called the shift operator. And uh, the shift operator is uh, denoted by capital E. So for that value Y, this will be equal to Y I plus one. So these are the operators that um, uh, we will actually use and um, uh, uh, Later after the class, I'll, I'll send some notes where you read more on these uh, operators and how you can uh, be able to relate between say the forward difference operator and uh, the backward difference operator and so on. So then uh, using these um, difference operators, we can be able to come up with some formula to get to what we call the interpolating polynomial. And the first formula that I'll want to have a look at today is uh, what is called the Newton's forward difference interpolating operator. So once again, you will have to keep these ones in mind and cause we are going to use them quite frequently. In fact, up to the end of this chapter, we will be mentioning this. So you must uh, keep them in mind. That is what we have. The forward difference operator, backward difference operator, the central difference operator, and the shift operator as well. <clears throat> mm -hmm. 
So Newton's um, forward interpolation formula now let's have again uh, the x, the x naught, x1, x2, up to xn, the equal space. That is, uh, we have uh, x naught, then uh, x1, which will be equal to x naught plus h, then uh, x2, which will be x1 plus h, then uh, x2 to be x, uh, sorry, x3 to be x2 plus h and so on, to xn, which will be x n minus one plus h. Then of course, if this be the case, we will have um, what we have as uh, y n to be equal to y n plus one minus y n is, uh, known as the first forward uh, difference. That uh, what we have here is called the first forward difference. Remember the axis they are in such a way that uh, uh, the difference between consecutive points is uh, uniform. So the x naught, then x1 is x naught plus h and so on up to xn. Um, and what this one means is that uh, for y naught, this will be equal to y1 minus y naught and uh, for y1 this will be equal to y2 minus y1 and so on this is uh, what this uh, condensed formula is all about this is uh, when we are talking about the first forward difference and remember, the idea in this case is that uh, these x points must be equi-spaced. Again, when we have um, for that, y n this will be equal to y n plus one minus uh, that y n and um, this is uh, the second forward difference This is the second forward difference. Uh, that is, uh, for example, we have uh, that for y naught, this will be y one minus uh, y naught, because in this case then, when we have the second 
for difference uh, for y naught, it means n is zero. So we shall have this uh, for y one, then uh, y naught. Uh, so that if we have uh, the second forward difference for y1, this will be y2 minus uh, y1 and so on. And uh, for Newton's forward uh, difference interpolation formula, interpolation uh, formula is thus given by we have uh, P, this is equal to y naught plus uh, y naught plus um, P, P minus one over two factorial, the second difference, why not, plus uh, P, P minus one, P minus two over three factorial, difference of that plus all the way then plus p p minus one p minus two all the way to p minus n minus one all that over n factorial, then the nth difference at y naught, where in this case, we have it that uh, p, let's say here, where p is equal to x minus x naught over h. So this is, um, the Newton's uh, forward difference interpolation formula. So to get to this uh, uh, interpolating polynomial, then we will consider this uh, starting point then we come to the first difference, the second difference and so on in this formula, then you will be able to come up with the required interpolating polynomial by this method. So obviously then in this case, we will be given the respective points, the X points and um, the Y points when we, 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 we work out uh, uh, the interpolating polynomial, we can also be able to uh, get some X value from the Y values that we have been given using this um, specific formula as we are going to see in the next example now. My question is using the following data, find Newton's interpolating polynomial And hence, find the value of y 
at uh, x is equals to five. So we have uh, x and y. So the values, zero, seven, 10, 18, 20, 32, 38, and 40, 85. So of course, in this case, we have it that uh, our X naught is zero, X one is 10, X two, X three, and uh, X four is uh, 40. So X one, minus uh, x naught is equal to x2 minus x1, which is equal to x3 minus x2, which is equal to x4 minus x3. And this is equal to 10. And this is what we, uh, we were using up there as uh, our h. Uh, uh, is equals to 10 and hence the data is uh, I keep on repeating this uh, that the data must be equispaced because uh, this uh, particular formula that we have stated above it cannot be used the way it is to work out uh, an interpolating polynomial if the data was not equispaced. Later on, we are going to see the situation what happens, uh, what happens in case the data is not equispaced. So we've already uh, uh, identified and, and uh, noticed that uh, the, the data is equispaced. Hence, the given formula can be able to be applied to get to the interpolating polynomial. And hence, for this case, find the value of y at x is equal to five. Remember in this case, x is equal to five lies between zero and And at the start of the table and, uh, and uh, data is equal spaced, we can be able to use um, the Newton's forward difference interpolation to get to the required interpolating polynomial. So we, we can be able to come up with the, the forward uh, uh, difference table. Remember, remember we have it that um, is equals to y n plus one minus uh, y n. So then we will have the table as uh, this is x, then we have y, Then of course here, we will have uh, the first uh, that, then we have, then of course we have, uh, and then finally we have that. So we have zero, seven, uh, 10, 18, 20, 32, 30, 51, and then uh, 40, 87. So of course, to get to the first difference, so that means uh, we, we, we will subtract y n plus one. Now this is y n, y n plus one. So for this one, it will be 18 minus seven, which is uh, 11. 
So this for this one, it will be 18 minus seven, which is 11 for that case. Then you write it at the middle between uh, seven and eight, right? Then uh, for this one, this will be, uh, this will be 32 minus 18, which will be equal to 14 and so on. So that now this one becomes 19 and then this one becomes 36. Then again, this minus that will be three. So three is in between 11 and 14. Then 19 minus 14 is five. Again, this is between uh, uh, 19 and 14. Then we have uh, 36 minus 19, which will be 17. So that is the second difference. Then finally, this one, this will be this minus that, which will be two. And 17 minus uh, five is uh, 12. And then finally, the fourth difference will be 12 minus, uh, uh, 12 minus two, which is uh, 10. So that is what we have. Uh, uh, so we find um, the difference as in what this formula that we have here. So what I have drawn here now is what is called um, the forward difference table. And uh, remember from, um, from the, the Newton's forward difference interpolating polynomial, it is based on y naught. And y naught is that value that we have there. So this is our y naught, which is equal to that. So y naught, then we have, um, sorry, let me do it in a better way. This is um, y naught, which is equal to that. And that is x naught, which is equal to that. So which then means that, I think even uh, this one, I'll have to put it in that color. Then um, this one in that color. And then this one finally, 10. So this is what we have. So because in that forward difference, uh, 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 forward difference, interpolation formula, it's based on y naught. So what I have written in that uh, uh, um, reddish color, and we are going to put in into the formula so that we can be able to come up with the required uh, polynomial. So then we notice the following again. That uh, x naught, is equals to zero, y naught is equals to seven, and our h will be uh, x, we have already found that, minus x naught, which is 10, that is uh, 10. Then we have, uh, that of y naught is equals to 11. Then uh, for the second one, that y naught is equals to three. Then uh, the third uh, difference at y naught is equals to two. And finally, the fourth difference of that is equals to 10. And then we can also find uh, the value of uh, P. This will be X minus X naught over h, which will be equal to x minus 10, sorry, x minus zero, because x naught is zero, x minus zero. x is a general point. We know x naught, this is divided by 10. So our p is 0 0.1x, our p is 0 0.1x. And therefore then, uh, 
this uh, interpolating polynomial using that formula of uh, Newton's interpolating polynomial forward difference. So we have the nx is equals to plus um, y not plus uh, this is over two factorial. Then uh, the second uh, that plus. So for this case, you know, it goes to the fourth difference. We don't need the fifth difference because we don't have a value for that. So this will be P, P minus one, P minus two, over three factorial, the third uh, difference. Then finally we have P, P minus one, P minus two, P minus three. This is over four factorial. Then we have that fourth difference at y naught. So this will be equal to, we have it, um, uh, this is because you know, once you come up with the forward difference table, uh, uh, you will know how long your polynomial is uh, going to be. So then this will be the same as uh, seven plus uh, 0 0.1 X multiplied by 11 plus Zero point one x into zero point one x minus one. This is divided by two factorial and it's multiplied by three plus zero point one x uh, zero point one x minus one. 0.1x minus two, this is divided by three times two. Then the third difference is multiplied by two. Then finally plus 0.1x, 0.1x minus one, 0.1x minus two, 0.1x minus three, all that is divided by four factorial is four by three by two, and this is multiplied by 10. So that's what we have. Uh, y naught is seven. We already identified that before. Then uh, we got our value for P, which is uh, 0 0.1 X. So we have P here, 0 0.1 X. The first difference, will be 11, like uh, from uh, what we got from the forward difference table. So multiplied by 11, then we have that second uh, uh, value for the second difference, 0 0.1x, 0 0.1x minus one, then two factorial. Two factorial is two multiplied by one. You must have known that by now. So two multiplied by one. Uh, then we have uh, for the third, um, value, we have 0 0.1x, 0 0.1x minus one, 0 0.1x minus two, divided by three factorial. Of course, in this case, then you can see, obviously this can easily cancel with that. And uh, again, uh, this one can cancel here, because there are five times, yeah. That's what you have. So when you work out this one and um, simplify, you will uh, then uh, get the following. So again, uh, that we are on our PN. So this will be equal to zero point, um, or we can we can write it out again just a minute. We have it as uh, seven plus one point one x plus zero point zero one x squared. 
squared minus 0 0.1x, and this is multiplied by 1.5 plus 0 0.001x power 3 minus uh, 0 0.03x squared plus 0.2x, and all this is uh, multiplied by a third, of course, then or divided by three, then have it. All this is divided by three for the, this uh, uh, third uh, value, then plus 0 0.416, 0 0.0001 x power four, minus 0 0.006 x power three, plus 0 0.11 x squared minus um, 0 0.6 x, which uh, on uh, simplification, we get to 0 0.0016 x power four minus 0 0.0022 x power three plus 0 0.05 x squared plus 1.26 x plus seven. So that is uh, the, the fourth order polynomial out of uh, those given data points. And this is um, the Newtons. interpolating polynomial for the data above. Now to find, uh, because of course we are supposed to find the value of y at x uh, equals to five, to find the approximate value. of able to approximate or get an approximate value of uh, y given a value of x using uh, the Newton's forward difference interpolation polynomial, as in that case. So um, you think you have a question for that before I move to something else? Any questions on that? No question. Very well. Then you can try this one. Let me give you some a question here. Uh, Some uh, exercise for you using Newton's interpolating polynomial and also find uh, 
the value of y at x is equals to 24. So here we have uh, the x and y values. We have uh, 20, 3, 35, 11, 50, 24, 65, 50, then uh, 80, Try out this question using the following data. Find the interpolating polynomial and, there, and hence find the value of y at uh, x is equals to 24. One thing that I want you to remember is that um, or when you are writing out, because of course, the first thing that you are supposed to do is to identify, of course, your x naught. You identify your, um, or even before that, have to come up with a forward difference table and uh, we can do this and the rest you can proceed um, this is uh, excuse uh, excuse uh, yes please okay i have a question from the yes. from the example we have done mm. you're getting me yes yes uh, from the example we did like when you are de deriving the tables, the forward difference table, yes. at some point using the values of y, we used 40, we used 51 and 87, but from the data given, you gave us 48 and 85. Can you explain that? We used which one and which one? 40 like, and? We had like the values of y. Oh, 30. 32, uh, we have 32, then 48. Oh, sorry, then that's supposed to be this. Actually, for 30, then I made a mistake. For 30, the value of y when x is 30 should be 51, right? Not 48, just correct that, please. And the value of y when x is 40 is 87. Is that okay now? Yeah, yeah, thank you. All right, all right, all right. So let's see for this uh, table for the second one now, how is the table going to look like? So we have the x, we have uh, y, how many values? One, two, three, four, five. So these are many. Not in fact, that's not how the table is supposed to look. So we have x, and then we have the value of y there. So we have uh, when x is 20, y is 3. When x is 35, y. Now allow me to start from uh, right at the top. Here we have uh, X, we have Y, then uh, when X is 20, Y is three, when X is 35, Y is 11, when X is 50, Y is 24, and when this one is 65, y is 50 then when it's 80 this is 98 
So of course, here we start with the first difference. We don't have to draw this anyway. So the first difference for this one, 311 minus uh, three, which is uh, eight. We have this as uh, eight. Then 24 minus 11, we have it as 13. 50 minus 24, we have it as 26. Then 98 minus 50, we have it as 48. Then the second difference will be uh, this minus that will be five. Then this minus that will be 13 again. Then 48 minus 26 will be 22. Then uh, finally, then the third difference for that 13 minus that is eight. Then 20. 22 minus uh, this is uh, 9. And then finally, the fourth difference. So it will be this minus that, which is uh, 1. And again, on the Newton's uh, uh, forward interpolating polynomial, we will have to make use of the following. We have that. We have that, we have that, and we have that as well. Then we notice that our y naught, this is the value of y naught, and this is the value of x naught. Then of course, to work out uh, uh, um, if, if the data is equally spaced, we, we will uh, look at uh, x, we have x naught, which is 20. Is this uh, data really equal spaced? Uh, just one minute, the next note this is uh, 15, 15, yeah. Yeah, because uh, we have it that uh, uh, 15, 35, minus 20 is equals to 50 minus the five all the way and all that is equals to 15. So this is gonna be our H. So then you can work out now uh, the Newton's uh, interpolating polynomial with the help of uh, that uh, table. Then now the next uh, uh, item that I want us to look at is, um, uh, we can call it uh, 1.3, and this will be Newton's backward difference interpolating formula. Newton's backward difference interpolating polynomial. The other one was Newton's forward difference interpolating polynomial formula. But uh, this one now is the Newton backward difference interpolating polynomial formula. So let's uh, have uh, uh, the X nodes. Let's have it as uh, X nodes, then uh, X1 to be X naught plus uh, H, X2 to be X1 plus H, then uh, x3 to be x2 plus h and so on, xn to be xn minus one plus uh, that constant h. Then uh, we have the following for yn, this I have to 
finish. Okay. Think, this, um, uh, this is the first backward difference. The first uh, backward difference that is, um, we can have uh, uh, for y1, this will be y1 minus uh, y0. And that uh, y2 will be y2 minus y1, and so on. Again, <coughs> we have um, the second uh, uh, backward difference. This will be given by yn minus uh, y n minus one, this will be the second backward difference. For example, we can have um, of uh, y1, this will be y1 minus that and uh, of uh, y2, this will be y2, y1, and so on. So this is uh, the second backward, backward difference, and that is the first backward difference using, of course, for uh, the, 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 what we call difference operator as explained above. So from these two then, uh, again, in this case, I'm only going to state the formula, but uh, in your reading, you can try to see how we come up. Up with the formula. Um, and in this case, uh, backward difference interpolating polynomial formula is thus we have it as um, again uh, is equals to yn plus uh, p yn plus p p plus one over two factorial yn plus P plus one, P plus two over three factorial, the third difference plus and so on, then uh, plus P, P plus one, P plus two, sorry, sorry, this is not plus but all the way to p plus uh, n minus uh, one. All this is over n factorial. Then the nth difference at y n. Now you can notice now the difference between the Newton's forward difference interpolating polynomial and uh, the Newton's backward difference interpolating polynomial. Remember, in the previous case, we were starting with y naught, but in this case, we are starting with the last 
uh, functional value of y, we are starting with yn. So of course, again, in this case, our p with p equal to x minus xn over h. And the h is the interspaces between the x values, which is supposed to be equally spaced. So this is what is known as the Newton's backward difference interpolating polynomial. So let's look at an example. Oh, we see how we can be able to make use of this one. Uh, let's look at an example. By Newton's backward difference interpolating polynomial and uh, using the data below find find the value of uh, y when uh, x is equals to five. So this is what we have, the data values. We have uh, Zero, 10, 18, 20, 32, 30, 51, and uh, 40, 87. That's what we have. <coughs> Of course, we already did this one before. X naught is uh, zero. Uh, what do we have again? We have H is 10. Um, and of course, in this case, we are supposed to find um, the value of uh, Y when X is 35. Now, because actually it lies between 30 and uh, 40, it lies between 30 and 40, and given the data is equally spaced, then we can use Newton's backward difference interpolation polynomial to get to that value of y, given that x is equals to 35. So we have it that uh, X is equals to 35. That's what we have. Then uh, XN will be 40. And then uh, if that be the case, then what else do we get from here? We can get the value of uh, P and this will be x this will be x minus uh, xn or h which will be 35 minus 40 over 10 and this is equal to negative 0 0.5 that's what we have but of course what we have to do first is to come up with the table so that we can see those backward differences that we are going to use let's come up with the table now
we have the backward difference table. This is what we have. There we have the x, y values. And then we have uh, 0, 7, 10, 18, 20, 32, 30, 51, and 40, 87. So remember, we have said that um, our x, this is our xn, which is equal to that. And therefore, our yn will be equal to that. So we are going to get the values uh, uh, starting this point here. Unlike in the forward difference uh, interpolating polynomial, where we were starting from uh, x naught, y naught, is equal to that. So let's see uh, or work out the differences now. So for this one, we have it as, um, of course, this will be 11. This is the first. the first uh, then we have uh, the second we have the third and then we will have the fourth It's supposed to be um, y, the first difference we have y1, y1, so this is y1 minus y0, actually it's nearly the same as the other one, so which means uh, the first difference in this case again, this is going to be 11, we have 14, we have 19, and then we have 36. The second difference here, we have uh, three, we have five and 17. Then here we have two and uh, 12. And finally here we have 10. But now in this case, we will be interested in uh, what I've colored here. No wonder maybe they came up with this uh, backward difference interpolating polynomial because we are starting from the back. And the, the other one, we were starting from up. We were starting from up there, but in this case, we are going to use those values there. So which then uh, technically means that um, we, we can have uh, the following, that um, we have uh, this, sorry. Uh, for ym is equals to 36. Um, then the second one for ym, this will be 17. The third one will be 12. And uh, the fourth one will be 10. So that is what we have. So with these values here and the previous ones that we had looked at, then we can now substitute these values into uh, the polynomial formula to get to this.
then our PN, therefore, our denominator, this will be equal to, of course, we will have it as uh, YN plus uh, P plus P, P plus one, this is over two, Yn plus P, P plus one, P plus two, over three times two, Yn plus P, P plus one, P plus two, P plus three, over four times three times two, that is four factorial, then the fourth, yeah, that's what we have. Because we have from the table, we have gone up to the fourth backward difference. And then this will be equal to then yeah. P plus three. Yeah, we have uh, 87 plus P is negative 0 0.5. And uh, YN, we have it as 36 plus negative 0 0.5, negative 0 0.5 plus 1 over 2. Then the second difference, we have it as uh, 17. Then uh, plus negative 0 0.5, 0 0.5 plus 1. 0 0.5 plus two, this is uh, over six. And then the third difference in this case is um, 12, then plus uh, negative 0 0.5, 0 0.5 plus one, negative 0 0.5 plus two, negative 0 0.5 plus three. Again, this is divided by 24, and the fourth difference is uh, 10. So when you simplify this one, you get to, this will give you uh, 65.5. Seven five, and this is the approximate value of y at x is equals to thirty five. That is, uh, we can have it as uh, y at that, which is. Uh, and that is equal to 65.734375. So that is what we have for the <coughs> Newton's uh, backward difference, uh, backward difference interpolating formula. And we can be able to find uh, that value using that formula as in uh, that example that we have done. So any questions again on uh, that uh, backward difference uh, right from the table, the formula and how we can, and how we can implement the table, the, the formula to get to the polynomial that is required or the value using the polynomial. Any questions? Any questions? No question. All right. So then can we uh, uh, very fast then have a look at uh, what we call the inverse interpolation. Inverse interpolation. 
And uh, this is uh, the process of finding any variable x given uh, values of uh, f of x. If we have uh, the f of x values, then we are supposed to When we are supposed to find um, the value of x, then in that case, we talk about what is called an inverse interpolation that would like us to have a look at an example. So the question is solve. The natural log of x is equals to 1.3 by inverse interpolation using x is uh, g as a function of y with the following that g 2.3. Seven one eight G at one point five four point four eight one and uh, G at uh, this is equal to seven point um, three eight seven and uh, G at uh, two point five twelve point one seven nine. And hence, find the value of uh, x, find the value of uh, x. So for this case, we may choose to work, work out this value of x um, using the forward uh, difference interpolating polynomial. And then we just put in that value there, the value of x. So then of course, what we do first is um, to do the forward difference table as uh, what we have below. So the forward, uh, So we have uh, X, there we have, uh, no, we have Y, then uh, X. The X values. So when X is one, we have it, I mean, Y is one, the value of X as in the natural log of X is equals to the sum value that is given above. The, the natural log of x is equals to 1.3. When um, y is uh, 1, this will be 2.718. Uh, when y is 1.5, this will be 4.481. When this one uh, is 2.0, this becomes 7.387. Then when this one is 2.5, this becomes X, the value of X is 12.179. So we can find uh, the first uh, forward difference. Of course, this will be this value, subtract that value. So for this case, uh, This was 2. Point, uh, so when you subtract these two, 
here you will get uh, 1.763. Then for this second one, we have uh, 2.906. And this is uh, 4.790, you can check that one for me. So the second uh, difference then, we have uh, this subtract that, we will get 1.143. And then uh, this subtract that, you will get um, 1.88. Six, check that one for me, please. Then uh, finally, the, the third uh, difference, this becomes 0 0.743. 0.743, uh, this is the third difference for, for that case. So in this case then, uh, you know it that obviously, what we are interested in are these values that have colored because this is a forward difference table. So these are the values that we, we are going to use. So then for this case, we have then the following that uh, why not is equals to one and uh, H will be Y1 minus Y0. And uh, this is equal to 0 0.5. Then of course we have X0 is uh, 2.718. Then the first difference for well, X naught that will be 1.763. Oh, sorry, yeah. The second uh, that for X naught will be 1.143. Then uh, finally, the third difference for that X naught will be. 0.743. Then what else do we need? The P in this case will be Y minus Y naught of H, which is equals to 1.3 minus one. Uh, because we are working out the value of uh, solve for that. So the value of uh, the natural log of X is 1.3. So that is what we are taking as our y in that case. That's the y will be 1.3, then minus one divided h by h, which we got as um, 0 0.5. So when you work out this one, you get to 0 0.6. So um, the Newton's forward interpolating polynomial formula, we have uh, P and X. So this is equal to X naught plus uh, P X naught plus uh, P P minus one over two factorial X naught uh, plus P P minus one, P minus two over three factorial, uh, the third difference at X naught. So in this case, we don't go beyond uh, the third difference because we don't have a group from the table. We don't have a value beyond that. So then this can be given as the following. We have near all these values here. Then we have it as uh, X naught uh, is 2.2. Seven one eight plus uh, our p is zero point six, and the first uh, difference is one point seven six three. Then plus uh, p in this case 
P in this case, uh, we have it again as 0 0.6, 0 0.6 minus one over two. The second one is uh, 1.143 plus 0 0.6, 0 0.6 minus one, 0 0.6 minus two over six. And this will be the third one is 0 0.7. Four, three. So when you work out this one, you get 3.680248. So for, for this particular uh, question, we have it uh, as an example of uh, what is called the inverse interpolation that you find the value of the independent variable X given the functional value or the value of Y. So like in this case, you can see, we have actually changed the Newton's forward interpolating polynomial, unlike in the previous case where we had the X and Y values. But in this case now, we are given the Y value that we need to find an X value for that uh, particular case. That is the 1.3. The natural log of x is equal to 1.3. So that is uh, 1.3 is what is given. So we are supposed to find that x. So the value of x for that particular example will be given by 3.680248. Uh, so in all this, uh, uh, what we have done today, we were looking at a situation where the x values are equispaced. The x values are equispaced that uh, the spaces, the interspaces between uh, uh, respective x values is equal, the, what we are calling h. So in um, our tomorrow's class, which we, we, we will begin, I think from two o'clock, we will start off by looking at a situation where now, these x values are not equispaced. If they are not equispaced, then uh, what happens in that case, which will lead us to what is called the Lagrange's interpolating polynomial. And I beg to stop at this point unless you have a question for me. Hello, sir. Yes, please. Yes. Yes. You are not clear. There's somebody, there's somebody who's supposed to mute the microphones, please. Can somebody is asking a question. Yes. Yes. Uh, will you share the recording because uh, some of us are uh, have missed a lot. Oh, I will ask, uh, was I recording? Did you see me recording? Yeah, it is being recorded. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Any other question again? Hey, sir, excuse me. Yes, yes, please. From the biosystem students, Hmm. Well, we have had we've had two lessons of numerical methods. We're wondering if there has been more which we have missed. No, 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 no. Actually, I could say uh -huh. today is when I started also officially because I repeated even what we covered last time. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Next class again, as I have said, is tomorrow from two to four. Okay, sir. Uh, and when should we expect the notes or? You, you can also, you, you, you mean you do not have textbooks at home? <laughs> Others are not even at home. We're still stranded somewhere there, but you can help us where you can. I'll see, but I'll, I'll send the, 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 some notes to Bill. Okay, Bill thank you. Bill will share them out to every one of you. I'll, I'll send some notes in a short while. Either today or later today or tomorrow. Sa sa sanchezan.
Uh, if there is no more questions, then uh, that's fine with me. We can uh, then meet tomorrow. Okay. Thank you. Tomorrow. Uh -huh.